Uh, Jason, where are you right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're uh, on South Street right now, and take a look at this. Well, this is just off Effingham, and you can see what we have in front of us. I mean, we cannot see the middle of the road here, um, and you can see a car straight ahead there that's actually um, that's actually gotten stuck. Uh, very high water here in downtown. We, we've been driving around the area for the last uh, 20 minutes here, and this is what a lot of the downtown area looks like. Now, the good news in all this is that the streets are not the flooding is is not really threatening any to get into any homes or businesses but you can see it's causing a nightmare for drivers you can see a car right there trying to slow, slowly motor through it probably not a good idea you never should drive through a uh, high water now we're in a very high truck so we have a lot of clearance here i'm going to roll down take off the, the skype and uh sort of roll down the window here and give you an idea of just how high that water is and you can see this car let me sort of settle this a little bit for you and you can see this car nick if you'll just stop for a second we'll watch this car as it's coming through i mean the water for this car is sort of coming almost the uh, middle of the uh, front end I'm to drive this it's uh, we're talking three or four inches of water now we've gotten a lot of rain in downtown a downtown and is an area obviously that is, is used to flooding um, but this is causing a, a lot of havoc on the road people who are trying to get through the downtown tunnel I mean five o'clock on, on a Friday is usually a nightmare to try to get to the tunnel and you can see how high that water is as that car sort of motors through it um, like we said not a good idea to try to get through that water but uh, it really is causing a uh, backup gridlock here in downtown, especially if you're heading uh, towards the tunnel. And we can tell you that we went past the Midtown Tunnel also on their way, on our way from the James River Bridge to downtown Portsmouth. And I can tell you the Midtown is just as back up today. So uh, if you're on the roads, uh, it really is a nightmare trying to get to wherever you have to go. Yeah, you really have to be careful driving in, in, in high water like that because you it can be deceiving. You don't know exactly how high it is. And that's the other thing too. You guys are driving in it right now. How far? How high up is it to your to your vehicle? Well, you know, we, we're in a live truck right now, so we have a lot of clearance, as you can imagine. I mean, I'm looking at it. Uh, it's probably just up. Uh, I would say about two or three inches on our tires. Now we have a lot of clearance. The car that you just saw go through. Not a lot of clearance. I mean, very low to the ground. And, and you're right. I mean, you start going through the water and you think, oh, you're okay, you're okay. And then all of a sudden you get to an area where, and it doesn't take much. It only takes a lot to get sucked up into your exhaust. And that's all it takes. And, and that will ruin your car, especially when you're on a street uh, such as Effingham, where you have uh, a two lanes. You have two cars that are going in either direction. And what happens is, is you think you're all right, but then all of a sudden a car comes beside you and it sort of creates a wave, and that wave will push up maybe to where you were. At. You had a little bit of clearance, but all of a sudden that wave uh, kicks right into your exhaust, and then that's where you stall out also. So you have to be really careful when you're trying to drive through high water, and it's, and it's something that officials will tell you you should never do. If you can't see the lines in the middle of the road, the idea is to turn around and go the other way, and we have seen officers here in downtown Street um, a couple blocks over, we have seen them start to block off High Street, areas of High Street, to uh, make sure drivers don't try to go down that way. All right, Jason, of course, we want to uh, get back to you in a little bit later when you're probably in another area. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Jason.